she never did. She never did. No. No. I, like I said earlier, I'm blessed with two beautiful women. So nothing has crashed. Please, I just want to tell Nigerians, please. I am not the first person to be a second wife. It is my choice to be a second wife. And I'm happy with it. So please, everybody should just leave me alone. Let me just be happy. If you, if, you can, if you can be happy for me, be happy for me. If you're not happy for me, well, God. This is just a typical case of trouble day and gag go we can cause everyone has moved past Messi Aibe's marriage with her new husband, second wife rubbish, husband snatching, like the drama had already gone by. And these two people decided to do a video showing us that they are love beds and they have a perfect marriage and the rest of it. And at the end, these are just lies. So in this video you just watched, which is a very long video, but I didn't post the full video. They had this interview where they said a lot. The man claimed that he's still in good terms with his first wife and that he's a Muslim, he's allowed to marry more than one wife. Mesaibe said she's cool with being the second wife and that also she was never friends with the first wife. Now, interestingly, the first wife has come out to share her own side of the story and spill her own truth. So according to her, her marriage with this man has ended as long as she knows they are already doing their divorce they're in their divorce process she's already addressing him as my soon-to-be ex-husband because she's waiting for everything to be dissolved legally but according to this man they are still married and everything is still fine so she was like i don't care what you do with your new wife i don't care what you do with her but please i was never in support of you having a second wife i never wanted a situation in my marriage where there was a second wife i wasn't okay with that and i'm ready to leave the marriage and the rest of it and then she went ahead to tell mercy to stop lying because according to Mercy, she isn't friends with the woman. Her husband isn't friends with the man. Her ex-husband was never friends with the man. They only attended his birthday party, his 40th birthday party. And that was where they met. And that was where the picture was taken and the rest of it. But apparently, it was the first wife that invited her to that birthday party that she went with her husband. So the woman said that they were friends or she thought that she and Mercy were friends. She invited her to her husband's 40th birthday party which was a surprise party she planned for him and mercy came and since then mercy has just been with her husband that mercy has been sleeping with her husband since her since her son was five months old you can see what she said here as for you mercy let's cut the crap you, we were friends but the shame and glam lifestyle we will not let you admit it you have been sleeping with kazim since your son was only five months old i introduced you to kazim as my friend I called and personally invited you and your ex-husband to the 40th surprise birthday party I did for my soon-to-be ex-husband. You were a constant friend of mine back then. I brought you close as a friend because I liked you, but you repaid me by sleeping with my husband, Kazim. You were a problem in my marriage for years. Now I'm happy to let you know that this is only the beginning of the end for you. I'm done. He's all yours. Enjoy. I'm really past this. Like I said in my first post, losing someone who doesn't respect or appreciate you is actually a gain, not a loss. Thank you all. And this just says a lot. And for someone like Mercy, who once covered up for her ex-husband, saying that the man never beat her and doesn't hit her and the rest of it, whereas he was really, really, really dealing with her back then. I find it hard to believe high again it seems like she's just living this celebrity life where there is cloud crews and covering up and the rest of it because how can you say that you've that you're not friends with this woman whereas the party that ushered you into this man's life she was the one that introduced you she was the one that invited you for the party and the rest of it and you come there and the next thing you're the second wife to her husband and you and you're spilling it for us and telling us that you're glad that you're the second wife you're happy being the second wife and you're not the first person to be a second wife like really fine you've married the man you've been able to snatch the man away from the wife just relax and enjoy whatever marriage you part in. there is no need to come and be doing videos for us talking and answering questions that nobody asked you and lying on top of it well this is my view this is what i think and this is how i see this if you think messi is in line i would like to hear your thoughts in the comment section share with me what you think about this whole drama what do you think about messi saying that she was never friends with the woman and the woman has come out to speak her own truth and the rest of it well thank you for watching this video and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel like and comment on this video thank you hello everyone and welcome back again to my youtube channel if you're new here please do how to subscribe to my channel like and comment on this video and to my returning subscribers thank you for always checking back on my channel
Yes, the news getting to us right now is that Choma is traveling to London for the video show and he actually sent a private jet to come pick her up with his son. Yes, and you know recently there have been a lot of things about Choma and Davido on the news. First, it was Davido attending her sister's wedding and people had a lot to say, saying why would he go there knowing that he's no longer in good terms with Choma and it was going to make her feel a certain way. But then I just felt like there was no way Davido would go for Choma's sister's wedding without an invite. He was surely invited for him to be at the occasion. He was invited, meaning that he's in good terms with the family, which also means that he might be in good terms with Choma. After the wedding, we've seen the both of them a few times on Instagram comment on each other's posts. Yes, David has commented a few times on Choma's post, saying she's the best cook and the and all those stuff. Now she's going for his show. Does this mean that they are back together or is she just supporting him as a baby mama or are they back together in a relationship? Well, I don't know. I was thinking at this point, even if they are back together, they may want to keep it private and sick and uh, secret so that people will not put in so much mouth into what is happening but as you can see they are fine showcasing their love they are fine showcasing their friendship and they are fine showcasing their parenting so let's watch and see she is going for the show someone even came out to say that he's using her to promote his show because he always trends so much whenever Choma is in the picture and so he's just using her to make his show trend his offer to arena show and the rest of it but let's just see what is going to happen i hope and wish for the best for them if they are back together let things be okay with them and now fans are also trying to bring misunderstanding between two face and boner boy so there is this show coming up and the name of the show is chop vegas apparently they use boner boy as a headline artist you can see his name boldly written whereas two face name is written in a smaller font amongst other smaller artists so they are complaining why is two face not the headline artist why is two face flev and timaya being underrated why are their names in smaller fronts where boner boy who just came out yesterday this is what they were saying on that to face comment section so it wasn't like they were just saying it on their own they were really i'm going to insert some of these comments two face had to reply some of them saying that it is nothing it doesn't mean anything and that even maradona admires and appreciates messi yes we all know maradona he's also he, like he's a champion in football but he's like a little outdated now and we know that chelsea and um, messi and ronaldo are the winning team so he was using it as an illustration this is also what he has to say. I understand some people are angry about font size and disrespect and all, but my people not like be that. You know, change the fact, say I too much. Okocha and Kanu them respect Igalo and Ibafemi Martins. Even Maradona respects Messi. You know, change the fact. I think this is the best approach he would have come to this. People should just let this artist be. Show everyone understands the system. Everyone understands who is raining more right now and you can't tell me that you don't know that bonal boy is selling more than two face right now and anybody that is organizing a show wants who will bring more money to them is show business they want who his he or his or her fans who want to put their head and we all know that bonal boy currently has more diehard fans than two face does so it's just normal for any show or any organizers of a show to use bonal boy as the front line or headline artist and not to face is business is show business and that is how it works we should stop trying to bring in hate among these artists we should stop trying to mix up things for them they are going through a lot already the competition is high already let us fans help them to grow love 